Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an X, bringing you some One Piece episode 983, and we are getting back into that raid on Onigashima. Uh, it looks like it's going to take a little while to get through it all, but I'm excited for it. The anime has been adding a lot of value and stuff to, you know, what was originally given by the manga, so I I'm not mad at it. I, I like I said before, and have multiple times, I felt that Wano was the most rushed out of all the arcs, and so seeing you get a little more love on the anime is that is a great thing for me. Uh, as always, guys, remember to support the original content creator, Ichira Oda, the goat of the god, because without him we would not be able to have these amazing episodes, and we should just shower him in money and praise. And, uh, you know, check out out on Crunchyroll, Shonen, wherever you can find the manga or anime to show some love. That's what we do on Crunchyroll, as well as we try to read the manga, and then we... You know, we have some toys and other shit up there. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes with us. I hope you're enjoying the flow as well. If you want to chat with us, remember to comment below, like, subscribe, all that other stuff. Check it out on Discord. And we're going to get right into it. Uh, you know, we like to, I like to talk with you guys in the comments and stuff. Because otherwise, this is more of a review and less of a reaction and like a discussion. Uh, and no one really cares about my opinions. So. <laughs> You know, they they just want to talk about opinions. Nobody nobody gives a shit what I think. It's very interesting to me the once again the lines. The line lining is important for me. I've learned that lining is hugely important to me. And it's the only part of the new arc that bothers me, art wise. <laughs> His ship is so weird. I also noticed that it's asymmetric. Did you notice that, or are we at a weird angle? Gila. So I actually saw this first, like, two or three minutes because the recording had fucked up and we had to start it over. Uh, the long story short, Chrome's a bitch. Or Crunchyroll, I'm not sure. Look at his arm on the... Jesus fucking crazy. Brr. And then the whole crew starts laughing, yeah. Super weird, because this crew all looks like creepy fucks. Okay, it was just the angle. It's symmetrical. Pretty up your face. That would be... See, that's, this is the angle we saw from before, where it's slightly to the... We're gonna become a cheerful pirate group. Stop it. So they all laugh. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, oh, you're, you're a troll. Open the vents. Oh god, what's up? No, and no offense, it's just interesting to see him like that because I didn't think he had a cleft lip. Did he? And I was just tripping, and that's how he's always looked? Or am I, or am I rightly weirded out by the fact that his mouth goes like this? And once again, no offense to anyone who does, etc. I'm just not used to this particular character being designed like that. This is the most ship work we've gotten in years. Granted, it's because it's a submarine and it's new. But think of the last time we really saw them pulling ropes and, like, getting the ship going. Uh, probably the big mom saga when they're sailing the wave and even then that was like part of the scenario as opposed to like the daily life or the daily goings on of having to run the ship. I didn't notice he has gotten more scars as it God that is a, it is a it's deceptive all right like all right you see this here this is deceptive and they're doing a better job of it here than I felt in it and actually I guess I shouldn't say better because that's the whole point of it was to be deceptive it is that sword is huge dude. That sword is several times bigger than the boat. Uh, from what I remember. Because you gotta remember, Oda loves drawing scale. He loves, like, drawing the whale and the ship and the scale. 
when I remember seeing this and then at first I was like, oh, okay, cool. But, and then you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That is a huge ass sword, bro. Like I'm talking, this is like God of War style sword. See, it is several, several times bigger than the boats. It took me a minute to like put it together in the manga because like it was such a beautiful spread one. Oh, maybe this is the one that he takes out with the thing that I thought this way. I'll have to hit him. One, two, three. This is the one, okay. Holy shit, Usopp, all right, that was a step up for you. A sleepy flower. Batman. I remember this part, I remember in the, uh, <laughs> this is funny. This is pretty symbolic, too, I will say. I thought they... I can't... I thought they burned him in the other one, but maybe not. It might have just broke them all. Conviction, baby. I like how Jim Bay just gets it immediately. He's like, I got you, boys. I know what you're doing. There's still a ton, <coughs> oh, excuse me, of debate on who the next straw hat might be. And for those who, there's a lot of debate too on if there will be another straw hat. But if you pay attention, then it's almost certain there will be. <coughs> this is cool. I also thought it was an interesting, at least slight up for Kitamon. Granted, it's still. Okay, they did it super silly like they did the mate. Look at this. Gizo! Look at his blush. He's like, take advantage of the disguise, bro. I like, though, that he was like, look, you do whatever you want to do, but... Yeah, of course he'd just do it for the fuck of it. He doesn't even care about the disguise. Oh wow, they really did a fucking, the Sailor Moon fucking, oh my god. Oh my god, he looks kind of like fucking, um, I just thought about it, he kind of looks like Kid with the fucking flowery thing and, oh my god, it's like, bah! <laughs> Okay, well, Brooke just always... He got one horn. He has one horn. <laughs> Alright. I love Robin. And, uh... She's, she's a bae. But Brooke looks fly. I don't care. Look at, look at that. He kind of looks like, um... Sexualized stance. And then you get like four at once. She basically just got a shoulder pad thing. They all got the shoulder pad uh, cloak combo. 
Uh, looks like Usopp also maybe only got one horn. Frankie just keeps his hair, and, uh, yeah. I, I will say, I don't know why I've, I'm feeling Jinbei's, though. Jinbei's looks pretty good. Also, Luffy has red horns. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's... That. Damn! Okay, some of them do get one horn. And then some of the horns are white and some are black. Interesting. Although, I think... Yeah, interesting. Some have three. It's interesting too because some are like horns on helmets and some are like gifter horns like the black ones or the waiter horns. Oh shit, that was the end of the episode. I should have known too. It's been a second and we've been going. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I, I've really been enjoying it. Um, this one was a bit slow even for the the extra maybe little piece or two they maybe added in, which I don't remember because it's been too long since I've read. I know I keep saying it. I feel like a broken record. I promise at some point I will catch up, okay, guys? That's the only promise I can make because I can't promise anything else. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying it. We've been trying to keep up and get this stuff out fairly on time. Uh, obviously, we definitely don't always do it, and uh, I apologize for that, but I hope you guys have been enjoying it. As always, remember to support the original content creator because without them, we really cannot, you know, do more of this amazing reactions you know without a chira oda making it we can't watch it so check it out support him if you liked watching like comment subscribe hit the bell for notifications if you want to get updated and if you wanted to check out you know uncut versions full video full audio you can check out our patreon for as low as a dollar a month and get early access to all the stuff by like a week and yeah i mean i just been enjoying it i mean there's some, this one once again was slow, but I still enjoyed like the Kinsan stuff, the interactions between Kid and Luffy, and even once again that last little one between Robin and Brooke was absolutely hilarious. So I think they're doing great. Let me know what you guys think. Come chat in Discord and the YouTube comments, or if you're a patron, come and chat on Patreon where you can even vote for the next series that we end up watching. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. We'll see you next time on Reactions with an X, One Piece. Stay frosty, my friend.